All right, I'm gonna go first. So, guys, do you know anyone that has resting witch face? Wait, wait, mm. resting witch face? Yeah, you better or resting? No, wait, listen, oh. y'all better watch it because we are in a new climate, baby. Cancel culture, I forgot. Say, what you talk about over here, man? This investigator in England was with his friend, Debbie, uh, and he saw her face change in a way that would scare the meanest witch you know. Mm. You gotta check this out. All right, there's Deb. What's your face? Wow, those are not uh, That's the Joker face oh. right there. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. The Joker. Like right there, bro. I would never hang out with her again. Right. Say which, please. Wow. <laughs> what? We need to hear about what was happening with Debbie and how she went full witch on the investigation. So let's get Brad and Debbie on the line. Brad, Debbie. Hey, yeah. What the hell happened? <laughs> what? I'm looking at Deb now. Deb, Deb, cute. You cute. Yeah. But when you was in that other video, Deb, I don't know what happened. Not the same smile. Not, not, not the same, same smile. smile. You're absolutely right. <laughs> it was like a filter you put on your face or something. I mean, I was like, dang. Or, you know what it was? It was the club filter. Mm. The 3 a.m. club filter. <laughs> <laughs> they cut the lights on in the club. When y'all saw this footage, like, what did y'all think immediately? Well, what happened was, so, so we've been in this house for a little while, right? And it was meant to be like haunted by like witches, demons, like all this crazy stuff. And then when we turned the lights off and we started watching the guys at the table after they started asking the questions and everything, our face just changed in that moment. Yeah, did you feel anything? It went eerily quiet and nobody really wanted to say anything and the atmosphere changed. Whoa. And there was uh, like a nasty, musky smell that had come into the room. And I was like, I don't feel well, but my back is on fire, something's in my back. That's crazy. And when I showed them my back, there was like a sunburn hand with really long fingers on my back. And all of the sides of my face was all red, like somebody had slapped me around the face. I would have a problem if y'all gonna let me get slapped up like that and don't nobody do nothing and you just sitting over there like this, Jack. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Ah, what are your friends doing, man? Come on, hey, get get back. Come on, get come on. Back with it. Hey, hey, stop it. They didn't do none of that to you? They just let you well, just be out here possessed? But you did say like, hey, Debbie, get out of there, right? Yeah, it was just as soon as we saw Debbie's face and her nose start to change. Bear in mind as well, the history about that place how it was like a witch prison and everything before. Wait, so there's witch prisons? Like, tell me about y'all's country, bro. Yeah. Just, come, Jack, you gotta help me out. <laughs> y'all just have like witch prisons and stuff like that? I mean, yeah. If there's a <laughs> witch problem, you gotta put them somewhere. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> now, I've heard of this place and I know there is a lot more to this story. So I think we should bring in our friend, Chris Fleming, because oh. he knows all about this place. Good right. old Fleming. What's up, Chris Fleming? What's up, gentlemen? You got a lot of books back there, yeah. so I know you know what you're talking about. Chris, can you tell <laughs> us uh, a little bit about the history of this home? I was there back in 2017. Let me just tell you, I came in contact with this negative witch-type thing that was part demonic, part human. Not only that, the owner ended up telling us that not too long ago, they found human bones. So for me, that was confirmation. Did you or anyone that maybe you were with experience anything similar to like they experienced while you were there? I can tell you while I was walking around, I got stabbed in the back of my neck. It felt like someone taking a knife. Or same like thing a... happened to me, yeah. Wait, y'all got shank? Yeah, like a shank. Brad, you said the same thing happened to you. Yeah, I mean like when I very first walked in, I felt like a sharp stabbing pain in the back of me calf. And I was like, ah, like, I thought a dog had just like jumping up and bit us out of nowhere. So yeah, it was really interesting that you said that, Chris. And then something you guys don't know, 24 hours later, when we were back at the hotel that morning, I was getting ready to take a shower and I turned and this black mass appeared and this witch came out of the black mass and went like this to me with these claws. And I'm like, what the hell? And this thing then shot back in this black mass, it was gone. I drew a picture of it. This I drew back on July 2nd, 2017. This oh, wow. is Listen, what man. I saw. You can see the claws that tried to scratch me. No way. But here's the most remarkable thing. Look at the face. <gasps> oh! 